representations of the badges that were used on rover cars, starting with a bicycle in 1896 and ending, uh, with, with, it says contemporary. And in this case, contemporary means about 15 years ago. <laughs> and what are we doing with them? What we're going to do with these is find a worthy owner for them. A friend of mine, client named Alec Bernstein, who went to Art Center and had a career working at BMW in design. Uh, shortly after BMW bought the brands uh, that resulted in them owning Rolls Royce, I didn't screw that up. It's not Bentley. We had a package of brands, and that package of brands included Rover. And as part of deciding what to do with Rover, someone commissioned a set of badges that the design people all got. And uh, they tried to think of ways to do something with it. They, they went big with Mini, but they ended up selling Rover and some other brands to other people. So we need to find someone to give this to. We need to find someone worthy of, of uh, being the curator of this property. We, um, we left the house this morning. And we're, we're heading out today. We're going to Supercar Sunday. Then we're going to the Queen's English Car Show, which is about a thousand English cars. And then we decided to get coffee. And then I realized when I, we got coffee that I forgot all the Wheels and Waves cars. So we gotta go back to the house. Why, why I'm explaining this, I don't know. But we did manage to get our coffee. And we did manage to uh, talk about the Rover pins, which are awesome. Someone is in for a treat today. I think just that will be a, a very nice little universe dropping something on somebody that, mm -hmm. that they will love. It, it's a day of gifts. It really is. Because Paul showed up at the house with a massive bottle of Fireball Whiskey as well. So um, we got to think about what to do with that. Above and beyond just, you know, chugging it. We decided doing that before going to two car shows would probably be a pretty bad idea. <laughs> driving this, Paul. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Supercar 
Sunday. Uh, your favorite is this Buick. This Buick is incredible. We're gonna show you guys this. Uh, it's it's a cop car. 19 what Cool. Uh, I do want to say though, yeah. for the benefit of Dustin who puts on Supercar Sunday, that if you go to this show, don't go racing out of it and uh, make a ton of noise because that's what ends up making the show shut down. So it is so true, Tim. Take it easy. You got to take it easy. Have a good time. Make sure that the show is there for future generations, and we all have fun. So keep it keep it down, people. I would, it would just like rip. Uh, before before I wrap up the vlog in the normal way, I is it centered? I could clip off these corners. Don't you're not supposed to run with scissors or do anything with scissors. Before we we wrap this up in the normal fashion, is that we got a couple of packages. One came from Hong Kong, from I know not who, and and one came from our friends in Germany. Chris and Anya Moody, and we, this supposedly has something, I think I know what it is, and then there's something in it for Abigail, the baby. The baby, so, who we saw last night. She's two weeks and two days old. That's right, her birthday is every Sunday. That's right. She's born on Sunday, so she is now officially two weeks and two days. Her eyes are open, she even lifts her head a little bit. It's like a little, you know, like on a slinky. She's like a little puppet. Yeah. <laughs> What do you want to do first? Which one? So we open this yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to open this one? Okay. Package you, from Germany. Package from Germany. All, all the way from Germany. They have little holes. Oh, there's a little ventilation hole. Wow, it could be an animal in there. Well, that's why I went something. in the hole. All right, let me just do the top. You got to be careful with what you stick in the hole. One time. I can't do that. Something's like just, just pull. Okay, you're doing a really bad job here so far. One time I opened a package. Oh, it was a present I was going to send to Christmas, or for my nephews for Christmas. 
So I did this very thing. I just opened it. It was a soccer shirt and I cut a hole in the middle of the shirt. So then I got a soccer ball and I stitched it on there. And it looked really I'll stupid. I don't know how to package. open that. Okay. I'm going to show you how. Ready? So you can see through it. That's what I'm saying. Oh. There. Boom. There you go. Oh. oh. Very cool. Mush Look at this. Walks. Mush walks. Oh. It's a German thing. Look at that little guy. <laughs> yeah. And? Kind of looks a little bit like Chris. They're mush walk. Wow. Oh, oh these are little doggies. It's like a little chocolate version. <laughs> Very cool, guys. Thank you. Thank you for All this. All the way from Germany. Um, if, if, if she doesn't like it, I could use it as a thumb sock. <laughs> yeah. There's a card, it looks like. Okay. Ooh, it could be a check. Yeah. <laughs> it's the size of a check. It is the size of a check. I don't think it is, though. Yes. It's in German. I, it's, oh, it's a happy birthday card. Oh. Happy birthday, Fireball. Best wishes on becoming grandparents, which we are now. Uh, lots of health and wealth for many years to come. This lighter is to go with the cigarette holder. Uh, we hope they stay together a long time. They will. Where is it? Well, we haven't opened it yet. Oh, it's in there. Oh. I don't know. There's the card. Yeah, very cool. It's like a little foam sandwich. Yeah. Well, there Here's is the can opener. opener. That's wow. awesome. That's cool. Hold oh, on. two. There's two. I just hit my arm on that thing. They're cool. They're little, mm. little German can openers. Like little puppets. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Ah, oh, what's going on with you? This is the lighter. That's, That's the... awesome. It's like wow. from the 40s or 50s. Look at that. I wonder if it still lights. No, no problem. I bet no. you have to put lighter fluid in it. Yeah, but I'm not going to be smoking any cigarettes anytime soon. Bad for you. Anybody smoking out there? Cut it out, but that's gorgeous. It is. That's really, really beautiful. It will go with the uh, with the other piece that you gave us, which is not here at the moment. It's on display. Thank you very much. Thank you. I did wow. send uh, uh, Chris one of the watches that we got from. Um, wooden watches are yeah, us. Yeah, one of the one of the wooden watches from Wooden Watches Are Us. Uh, he <laughs> sent me this. Isn't that cool? Oh. Yeah, and it says on the bottom, Elvin Superlighter. Can you read that? Elvin super lighter. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you so oh, much. Awesome. Very cool. Oh, I have to open this one. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot about this. Mm. It looks, oh, look, it's an upside down heart. This is from Hong Kong and it's really tight or anything like that. <laughs> and it's like, excuse me, Hong Kong newspaper. Oh, check it out. It's this thing. Ah, check out <laughs> Hong Kong newspaper. Look at that. Look at this ad. Yeah. With this like karate guy. Two, two for one. Karate. This is what they sent us. And I think I can see what this Ooh. is already. We did a, a series of Johnny Lightning cars. And I said on the blog uh, quite some time ago that the only one I don't have is the white lightning version of My this car. It's running. I have to go. You can't go yet. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and this beautiful. is the white lightning version. It has the white wheels. Ah. So, but there's no card or anything. So you don't know who it's from. Maybe it's from this guy. Wait, there's another section. It's from this guy. <laughs> that guy sent it. Wow. Oh. Well, thank you, whoever sent this. Aww. It's going on display in my collection. I'll show you. 